Okay guys, don't mind the boxes. I'm using that to hold my stand because for some reason the way I have it positioned so y'all can see, it keeps falling. So this is how the closure looks. Um, how I like to pluck, um, I like to pluck my, normally I make the wigs and then I customize. I don't like do this now, but I have so much hair right now because I have a lot of wig orders. So I was like, I'll just, you know, show you guys a video because I know some had acts in um, the group. Um, so I like to, you know, make the wig then I pin, you know, the hair piece on and make sure I have like control over it. Um, and then I, of course, have a comb, water bottle, and tweezers. So, um, this is like, I took a closure that had like a thicker hairline so you guys can really see. Um, and I just like to really spray it. Get it really wet. So this is how it's looking. And then what I start to do is part. I don't start in the front. Um, and I've already bleached these knots too. So this closure isn't bad, but I don't like that it's thick. So I literally, I hold it and I just pluck. And to me, plucking is just, you know, you seeing where you want it, like, more thinned out. Um, you don't want to stay in one area. So just always move, 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 move. And just keep holding it. And you just keep going until it gets thinner and thinner. Everybody's preference is different, though. You have to do what works for you. Um, and then it takes practice. When I first started, I've only been doing wigs like a year. When I first started, I could not get plucking down, but I never gave up. I just kept practicing and practicing. And I used to have a problem with bald enclosures. Um, and I couldn't figure out like, why the hell do they keep bald ends? Because I kept moving in the same spot. And you see, it's already a difference like already and then you want to keep moving further back so I plucked out more here um, so it just takes practice don't give up don't get discouraged um, you will see growth you just got to keep at it that's what I tell myself like consistency just believe in yourself don't beat yourself up when you make mistakes. You're going to bald. <laughs> like, y'all, I used to bald closures and frontals a lot. Like, when I say a lot, but by the grace of God, like, thankfully, it was cheap hair. It wasn't no good hair. Now I work with more higher quality hair. And now I'm just so used to it, you know, I just kind of know, you know. So I don't really have a problem anymore balding. Not saying that I'm perfect, because we're not perfect. But um, I've kind of learned, you know. So you just keep doing the same thing. Plucking, plucking. And, like, this is how I hold my tweezers. Make sure you clamping. So, like, when you pull, make sure you are, like, you're actually getting hair. I used to hold it at... Um, a different way but I didn't like it and I felt like it took me longer to pluck because there was no hair coming out so this is all I'm doing just pulling This is how we looking so far. And I'm gonna just do some more. This is some pieces I see. And again, I don't think this closure is bad at all. I just, 
I don't really care for dense hairlines. Like, I like when they're, like, super thin. You know, not, not saying that I don't think thick hairlines are um, bad quality. I just really like ones that already come really thin. You don't have to, you know, do extra leg work, you know, and pluck. And then here, I'm going to show you for an example. Here, right here, I need to stay away from that area. And, like, right there because... I can do, I can build a ball spot. So that's like, you know, how you learn as you're plucking, you know, once you start seeing areas like that, okay, like you might have did too much um, to stay away from it. So in that specific area, I won't do no more. And then I'm going to go back another row. more water comb it through and I'm gonna pin a little more cuz I don't like how that's coming up right there I like T pins I've tried all different types of pins but T pins I don't know honestly to me are the only ones that's really sturdy and they really hold other pins like move too much and I don't like the only thing I don't like about T-pins is they do get stuck like in the hair in the lace and that can be annoying but they're like to me the only ones that um, really hold and have you know a durable hold I guess you want to say um, so yeah just make sure and don't be scared like I used to be scared I'm like oh I don't want to mess up you're going to mess up Especially if you're just starting wigs, you're going to mess up. But those mistakes help you because eventually you will start learning like, okay, well, what am I doing wrong? Like, And then you will start to figure out how to stop yourself from doing that. So, again, don't get discouraged. And I'm going to show y'all the whole thing. Let's see, and just pulling. Make sure it's tight so you can see how it looks. You can already see how I really thinned it out. Make sure you're yanking. Another good way to hold it is like this too. I know some people do that. That helps too. I don't really like holding it like that. I feel like it's uncomfortable. But again, everybody's different. You find what works for you. So, there's that. Now what you want to do while you're plucking is always pull the hair back and see... You know, kind of what you're working with. So, see, it's still a little thick. But what I like to start doing is, I know I've already been in the inside. I like to start in the front just so I can, because right now you can't really see the back. So, what you want to start doing is working in the front. Yes, you you've gone in the back, but you can't see through the front because the front is still thick. So you see already right there how I thin that out. And because you go, you went into the back already, it all like basically forms together. So see that? Compared to, let me do one side. So I'm gonna work on this side. I'm gonna do this side and then compare it so y'all can really see what I mean. And 
if you have these little flyaways, just pluck them. And in this area, be very careful close to where, because if it's a middle part, you don't want to overdo it. Because you will like create a ball spot, if that makes sense. So again, be a little light. You don't want to bald it. You're just trying to create a more natural hairline. And everybody is different. Um, again, with plucking, like you, you know what works for you. Everybody has a different way of how they want their wigs to look. Like, you know, so you just gotta kind of play around with it. Right here is just too thick to me. And I know y'all might see me staying in one spot, but I'm kind of used to it, so I know not to overdo it. But starting out, especially if you haven't plucked, don't like really stay in one spot. I feel like I'm almost where I want it. And then again, those little flyaways, just pluck them out. That's all I do. Feel like I'm all there. And then over here, when it be these here, I be plucking them out too. I don't like them. And then what I like to do, I like to take some hairs from the front. Because, I don't know, that's just what I like to do. I don't OD, but... I just like, I don't like a harsh line. Like, I like it to look really natural. And I'm plucking these 
flyaways too because they're annoying. See the difference? And again, don't overdo the middle. see the difference compared to this side See how natural that looks, and it's you know, this customer wants a middle part, so if I were to do a middle part, it's not balded in the middle, it's nicely plucked, like you see. Sorry, y'all. I gotta learn how to hold <laughs> the camera better, but yeah. And again, don't do too much in the middle because it looks so ugly when you have um like a ball spot in the part. I used to have that problem too. So this is how it should look. And that's the other side. Let me get a little closer. All right. Um. Yeah. So that's just what I do for plucking. Um. I do things a little differently for frontals. I have frontals, but not natural color, more like 613. Y'all want me to show how I pluck frontals? I can show that too. Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks. Um, yeah, and then this is how unplugged look. So yeah.